Somebody call a doctor because bad medicine is back. back. Over there's Diamond Dave Damone. This is the Appleton Oak. That's the answer. I'm Mason Quinn. Guys, tonight we are taking a look at Hacksaw Ridge from 2016. Now, a lot of you have recommended this one to us for a long time, and a I'm lot. happy we're finally getting to it. Uh, it's got Andrew Garfield on it and based on a true story. So I'm very excited for what's to come here. All I knew about this was that we're watching it. I had no idea what this movie was about. I didn't even know Andrew Garfield's in it till just now. So I'm definitely ready, willing, and able to watch this and hopefully say a thank you for the recommendation. I have seen this movie. Um, <laughs> it's, look, it's, it's no secret. Anybody who reviewed it knows that this movie is absolutely incredible. Um, one of the rare times that I have seen it and the guys <laughs> have not. So uh, I only did see it once, so it'll be a nice uh, rewatch for me. And I saw it right when it came out. So um, again, just a, a phenomenal World War II movie as so many have been done before. Haven't seen it, know nothing about it. Only know that Andrew Garfield, our boys in it, that's all I got. I mean, <laughs> second best Spider-Man. Se well, I don't know if he's second best, but <laughs> he's in it. Let's go! Palm. The Lord is the everlasting God, creator of the ends of the earth. He gives strength to the weary and increases the power of the weak. Those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. We're gonna get you out of here. Damn, what a start. Oh, no <laughs> kidding. Where is she to be talk? Hey, <laughs> See you later, so poke. Hey! Oh. Oh. Want a hand? I got it. <laughs> It's them dolls, kids. Crazy as their old man. They dug up the corner of Jackson and Maine. Hey. Uh, Mr. Anderson. You boys wouldn't recognize it now. They hardly know me when I walk by. It's like I died with you. It's like we boys never existed. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, shit. Got him. I was tire themselves out. Oh, jeez. Lock geez. him with your right, Desmond. What are they fighting about? Now, when they ever need a reason. Tom, do... Tom! <gasps> oh! Jeez. Oh, Rick? What the hell have you done? You can't hear me. Hell, you hear me? Oh. Oh, boy. Oh. You hear me, Desmond? What's that gonna teach the boy? He was violent enough already. Hell's gonna be okay. I could have killed him. Yes, you could have. Murder, it's the worst sin of all. I hate him. Why does he hate us so much? He hates himself. That's quite the time jump. Yeah, have a little time jump here. Damn. I'm gonna get introduced to Andrew Garfield here. Well, looks like I'm up there. There he is. <laughs> oh. Oh, that's that's the big one. I appreciate the uh, practical effects there. It's a severed artery. Get some sutures. Yes, doctor. Put some pressure on it. Nice work. You might have saved this boy's life. You staying with us? You're gonna be okay. Yeah, I've uh, seen her. God, what is she things. from? Yeah, yeah it's yeah. going to bother me now. I don't recall what I've seen her in. Now, you guys know me and actors. I probably think it's James Hatfield. <laughs> Army physicals that way. This is forgiving blood. <laughs> <laughs> Are you all right? Oh, no, that's not mine. What do you need? My belt. <laughs> I lent it to the boy who had the, had the accident. I don't have your belt. No, I know that ma'am is out there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just here to take blood. I'll give you mine. Somebody picking you up? No, ma'am. Walking back. You okay? Yeah. Where are you going looking all spruced and nice? Nurse over at the hospital. Her name's Dorothy Shooty. I'm going to marry her. <laughs> 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 Come give your brother a big hug. Hell. 
You ever given blood before? Oh, Jesus, they don't have a date. He just showed up. <laughs> I forgot this part. Wow, well, Desmond, we can't take your blood two days in a row. Ever since you stung me with that needle, my heart's been beating real bad. Oh, <laughs> oh, come on. I'm writing that down. <clears throat> take that for a <gasps> note. I've never heard that one before. Oh, look at that. See? What's the difference between an artery and a vein? I think you need to practice your boy girl dating talk at home before you come out. <laughs> <laughs> I got this cut right here. Yeah. I just think you're the prettiest thing I've ever seen. That's because I'm sitting in the dark. You can light up a whole no. room. You're just beautiful. Oh, he didn't take I thought he was going to yeah. say something like that. <laughs> you need to watch where you're going. Whoa! Oh, see? Make you move. He, what are you, 24, what, 27 hours? Oh, and, hours? Oh, and a slap. Thought you might have liked it. Well, I might have if you'd asked. <laughs> <laughs> you coming? <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs> Man, the tease is with these yeah. cars. What are they in New York City here? What? Oh, the dad's not happy. No. It looks like a movie star. Reminds me of how Artie Gittins looked in his uniform when we went to France. Blew most of his guts and intestines out his front. Awful everywhere. It was lucky he was dead, so he never knew how awful his uniform was. I mean, you can definitely see where the dad's coming <laughs> yeah. from. And he had to see all that in World War I, which was just brutal as it gets. Yeah, and the thing I think people are quick to forget is like after world war one and even after two even after vietnam but especially if you go back as far as world war one there was no you know diagnosis of ptsd mm -hmm. got the feather i help you but it's gonna cost you kiss <laughs> <laughs> hey no slap this time no, mm -hmm. worked out. no push away <laughs> Yeah. Oh, oh meet Matt the Look at that. I have to enlist. I will be a medic. So, are you going to ask me to marry you or what? Oh. <laughs> With all my heart in this song, you marry me? Then, yes. Yeah. <laughs> all, right. all right. This guy's having a heck of a day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I love you. <laughs> 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 Got shushed. They're Latin ladies or nurses are Googling. Oh, is he gonna break the news oh, to pops? No. These three were my best friends, covered in dirt and grass and eaten by worms. I don't want to have to visit my sons here. Everybody else is, is doing you it. Ain't everybody else. Miracle chance you survive, you won't be giving no thanks to God. I mean, you can Whoa, totally man. see the dad's point. I mean, at this right now, he thinks he's going to lose both his sons. He's right, totally right. convinced of it. <clears throat> here. I want you to have this. You keep it right here. Where I'll be. I love yeah, my, you. My grandfather was in World War II, and when my uncle got sent off to Vietnam, I know it was really, really hard for him. Hey, sorry, pal. Look lost. You can see right here. Just... Oh, that's Smitty over there whipping his NC's ass. What'd you say your name was? Desmond Doss. Tension! Oh, no! oh! Got him in the toe. I already like the cast of characters we got here. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. No, oh, Vince Vaughn? Vaughn? Seriously? <clears throat> You are a very strange-looking individual, <laughs> if you don't mind me saying so, Private. I am Sergeant Howe or Sarge! Yes, Sergeant! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Look on his face. I have a knife in my foot, Sergeant. Oh, yes. Your name is Private Idiot. <laughs> Do you know why? It was an accident, Sergeant. We was playing stretch. I did, Sergeant. Private Krasinski. Let me see your Indian war cry, son! I, I don't... <laughs> Are you grinning at me, boy, oh, or is that your natural state? Sergeant. I have seen stocks of corn with better physique. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone outside, now! All right, just get in my uniform, sorry. Should I ask him, too, Corporal? You son of an exhibitionist! <laughs> <laughs> Never seen Vince Vaughn in this role before, ever. 
The rabbit comes out of his hole, <laughs> runs around the tree. Very good, Tex. Keep struggling, Teach. Congratulations, Greaseball. You just fell 50 feet and broke your neck. One for each tip. <laughs> you were tying a bowline, boy. What is so funny, Corporal? Couldn't tell you, Sergeant. Come on! <laughs> I wonder if that was like legit him trying, not, had to to trying not to break. It's gotta. I bet you're enjoying this, you naked degenerate. Bunch degenerates. Drive! Drive! He's gonna trip him, isn't he? Nice no. yep. work, dog! This is a personal gift from the United States government to each and every one of you. Problem, Private Cornstalk. <laughs> Is there not one in your size? I was I was told I don't have to carry a weapon. No problem, just a mistake. Hey! hey. I, I, if you screw up with me, Doss. No, no, sir. I volunteered. She don't kill. That's all. Yes, sir, that's all. Is there anything else that we can do to ensure that you have a comfortable stay here with us? I'm a Seventh day Adventist, so. We should simply ask the enemy not to invade on the Sabbath, because Private Doss here is a prayer. Psychiatric discharge. Dismissed. Whoa. Oh, mm. can kick him out. Apparently, Private Doss does not believe in violence. Do not look to him to save you on the battlefield. Sarge, that's not true, Private, Sarge. As you were, give Private Doss the full measure of respect he is due. What you got here, Desi? For Pete's sake, Smitty, give him back his Bible. I remember speaking to you. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Say it like that. I think this is cowardice. Plain and simple. Hey, what? I'm going to give you a free shot. Right there. What is this? Give me that. This is a fine looking ball. Please give it back, Smitty. Please give it back, Smitty. So you don't hear voices? No, sir. I just simply believe what I believe. Well, was it God who told you not to pick up a rifle? They do not constitute grounds for Section 8 discharge. Oh, are they going to make it hard on them? Probably. Probably. That's what I'm thinking is mm -hmm. <clears throat> make him quit. <clears throat> he throws God at you. You throw hell right at him. I want him gone. No, oh, no. There will be no passes this weekend. You will all be on KP. Oh, he's she's, he's gonna get him to turn on him. Get the whole unit to turn on Doss. Unreal, man. Knock it off. Try to sleep. Get off. Oh, he wasn't even he, involved. No, no. no. Nice. As you were. Where's Doss? Oh, damn, man. Got messed up. This isn't good for anybody. It's time to quit this. I got extra guard duty today. And I'm... All right, Doss. Can you identify the men that beat you? I never said I was a tax, huh? I, I sleep pretty hard. And all the respect gained right there. Yep. Mm -hmm. Here it is. I'm afraid I can't authorize your pass. Says you're not rifle qualified. Show me you know how to handle a rifle, and I'll sign here for you. And you will spend the duration of the war in a military prison. Oh, oh no. no. Is at least somebody going to send word? Sometimes men just get cold feet. Not my there desk. you go. <sighs> I believe in this book as much as any man. If one of them attacks you and some wounded soldier, what are you going to do? I'm prepared to give my life for my men. Throw yourself at the mercy of the court. Maybe they'll let you go home and pray. Oh, oh good. At least she, she's there. Let me call you. That's OK. I'm all right. Just run a couple of rounds with the wall and lost. I'm being treated like a criminal just because I won't kill. You tried. Who are you going to save in prison? You don't have to use it. Just meet them halfway. She's making really good points. <laughs> a lot of sense. Yeah. I mean, I get where he's coming from, too, but yeah. That does sound great, the meet halfway. Mm -hmm. At this point, yeah, I'd do it. But I don't know how I'm going to live with myself if I don't stay true to what I believe. I fell in love with you because you weren't like anyone else. I will love you no matter what. He loses no matter what. We want him to plead guilty. Otherwise, he fights him and he for sure goes to prison. Oh, 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 wow. That's why. Yep. Wow, what a and, reveal and that was. The way that the dad was looking when she was on the phone, he knew. You know, he had that look. Oh, Pops yeah. donned it. Yep. 
I wish to speak to Brigadier General Musgrove. Tell him Corporal Thomas Doss would appreciate a brief word. You'll be home safe and sound like nothing ever happened. Oh, did his dad, did his dad set something up like he thinks he's going to plead guilty? I think that's what Doss thinks he's going to do. So I have a, uh, I've seen this before. I have a general idea. Of course, I remember the, the, the majority of it. But as far as this part, like how all this plays out, I don't exactly remember. Yeah, I don't like the look of his attorney. No. I think he just told him. He fired him. I think he just <laughs> told him the. Doss, the charge is disobeying a series of direct orders from his commanding officer. Private Doss, who wishes to enter a not guilty plea. Wanted to enter some sort of plea bargain. You wish to proceed to a court martial. Well, on your head then, Private. Hmm. Well, clearly something positive has to happen because we saw him getting stretchered. Yeah. Private Doss waves his morality at us by directly disobeying a series of direct orders from his commanding officer. You okay? Yes. Are they still deliberating? Yes, sir. Okay, now you go take this in there. I can't. Strictly military personnel. He doesn't. <sighs> Dad's got to do it. Do you Come deny on. disobeying Colonel Sangston's direct orders? No, sir, I don't. Why are you contesting it then? Because when the Japanese attacked Pearl Harbor, I took it personal. I had a job in a defense plan. I could have taken a deferment, but that ain't right. It isn't right that other men should fight and die while everybody else is taking life. I'm gonna be saving it. I understand, sir, but nobody's. I have information. What the hell is going on out there? <laughs> Let him go. That's a great war uniform. It is, sir. You were unable to attend this hearing. I'm sorry. Is that truly the way it works, sir? Lose so much that was dear to you, and then you're done with? I know my son is protected by those laws. They're framed in our Constitution. Let me have the letter. Speak some sense into him. Mm. What's the letter, though? Yeah, what is... What's it going to be? The defendant's rights as a conscientious objector are protected by an act of Congress. Signed, Brigadier General uh, Musgrove. <laughs> nice. Oh. <laughs> I withdraw the charges. Wow. This case is dismissed. Free to run into the hellfire of battle without a single weapon to protect yourself. Wow, what a turn. Damn. <laughs> when you get home, you tell him I love him. Oh, is that official? Official. It's good. He got his got, time. He's got the ring thank, on. Yep. Thank you. I was worried that it was going to be like no time. Yeah. Yep. Cut right. Go to right the... to training and out of there. Oh, okay. So this was a few months before the war was over. Yeah, real close to the end. Damn. Man, they did such a good job with the close-ups on the faces. Their faces told a lot of story. Mm -hmm. Damn, that was a hell of a shot. <laughs> Seems good to me. Yeah. It's cool. Yeah. Yeah. Lieutenant Manville, 96th. We've been assigned to you, sir. Who's Doss? Herb Schechter. You and me and Paige here. About the only medics we got left in this area, so... You just come off the line. What's it like? We climbed up six times. Six times they threw us off. They want to die. They keep coming at you. Nips put a premium on shooting medics. That's our objective. Axel Rich. Take a breather. Our pals in the Navy are going to soften them up for us. And they got to climb a cargo net to get up there? I mean, it's a sheer cliff. <laughs> yeah, that's one hell of a way to get up there. Mm -hmm. These bunkers here, here, and here. Is that accurate? <laughs> oh. Yes, sir. Maybe a little further back, but it's all it's all different up there. Move out! Oh, man, I don't like this music. <clears throat> I just don't see how this works. Oh, it's blood. No shit. We're not in Kansas anymore, Dorothy. Oh, it's just raining down the side. I'm actually getting pretty nervous for this. Oh. 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 
Oh, no. no. Holy cow. Wow. What the fuck? Oh, whoa. Oh. Oh. Put your hand right here. Put your hand on there, John. Come with me, Jen. Come on. Oh. Got him with the... Came, came through. Wow. I'm coming! Okay, I'm here. Get out of the way! So much oh. is going on. Yeah. You hurt? Oh, fine. Oh, come <laughs> Oh, oh no! Just breathe, just breathe, rest. I got, I got. <gasps> hey, give him a shot of morphine and move on. He's not gonna last a day. Please, please, Dust, no. please don't leave me. I ain't going anywhere. Stretch off. Oh. God's priority. Uh, uh. You ever heard of triage? He'll be dead before we get him down. You don't know that. Uh. Get him down. Hey. Uh. How are they even getting the wounded off a friggin' cliff? If we can't see them, then they can't see us neither. Oh, that's a good point. Uh. I got the frag. Bring it. Watch out, that's all. Shoot. Oh. Man. Come on. Come on. Give me a hand here. Get down, sir. Over there! I got him! Get him! Yeah, I see him too! I'll send in a weapons team to flank him! You that tight? You're gonna be right as rain. All right? You got him, Doss. You doing okay? Okay. Oh! oh. Got him. No. Oh! Oh, man! This is wild. Oh, oh no. Cover his ass! Jesus, this oh, guy. It's like right there. Oh, oh wow. Right in there. This just scene like, is wild. Oh, hand to hand, right, toe to toe, right, going just. Here, <sighs> Mike. Oh boy. No. Oh. Oh, so there's Sam. Yeah. Go. Go. You got a bump on the head. That's okay. Okay. What's your name? I mean, cool. You're okay. You're okay. That was intense. Good job, man. Dig in for the night. We hold this spot. We mop up the rest of the ridge tomorrow. Find yourself a nice, safe hole. We don't know what's out there. Heads down, asses lower. And shoot anything that don't speak English. Still more wounded out there, Sarge. I'll go with him. Jeez, man. Manelli and Henry dead in the first 15 minutes. Page and hunger. In peace, sons bury their fathers. In war, fathers bury their sons. And don't help none. <laughs> hey, hey, we got an abdominal wound. Should we find a home to dig in? Sound good to me. Nice to see their friendship mm -hmm. growing. You ain't gonna eat them. I don't eat meat. Help yourself. <laughs> of course you don't. <laughs> That's one heck of a dame. You know you're fighting out of your weight class with her, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> don't tell her that. <laughs> She'd be much happier with a man like me anyway. I'm an asshole sometimes. Sometimes? <laughs> yeah, all right. Oh, man. I don't think that's ever been shown in a movie, anything I've seen. I'll take first watch. Right, you get some shut-eye. 
I mean, unless you were at the point you were just so exhausted, your body just gave out and you had to sleep. I'm not going to lie. Holy that shit, they're right there? No, this has got to be a dream. Okay, yeah. I was going to say. Oh. That got me. That was a dream. Rifle's just here. Look around you. After what we just been through, any sane man would be screaming for a weapon. I never claimed to be sane. My daddy's a drunk. At least you knew, and mine could have been any one of ten guys, and none of them were worth a damn. But she gave me to an orphanage when I was five. But now they judge people quicker, and I got you very wrong. My daddy used to beat me and my brother just because the sun rose when he would do it to our mama. That's enough! No more! No! Do you hear me? But you didn't kill him. In my heart, I did. I ain't never gonna touch a gun again. Well, I ain't giving you mine because you're crazy. Gosh, I'm nervous for how this is gonna turn out, man. Oh, oh man. Oh. Oh. Get your asses over here! There's so, so many. Yeah. So many. They're, they're so outnumbered. I mean, it's not even close. So it's like this is Baker 6. Request immediate support. I call an artillery strike. Fall back. Move. Oh. Oh. Yeah, he had a man. feeling that was coming. That was close. Oh. No. Don't need plasma. Give it to him. I'll be okay. Go. Go. Come on. Was he trying to pull it off? Uh, I think so. Come on. Come on. I don't know, man. So much is going on. No way. No. No. I'm scared. I'm scared. Let's go help the pain. No, don't, don't, don't you do that. Come on, we gotta move. Come on. Help me get him down. Help me get him down. Yeah. He's gone. No, come on. Damn. What is it you want of me? I don't understand. I can't hear you. Wow, he's gonna run back in there. Mm -hmm. He is. Even with the artillery strike going on. You're in good hands. Easy enough. Right with Ford, how many? 32 only came down, sir. Let's load him up. Yes, sir. He's gotta find Vince Vaughn. Mm-hmm. Harry. <laughs> We, we all fix you up. You just gotta keep breathing. Colonel wants to see you, sir. We need you, Jeep. They looked pretty young. Yeah, mm. real young. I got you. Put your hand on. Uh, keep pressure on. Uh, They're all totally gone, and he's still up there bringing guys back. Here we go. One, two, three. We're at the end, Jerry. Jerry. Yep. yep. You're okay, buddy. That's what he taught him first day. Yeah, he's gonna lower him down. Oh no, that's his. 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 It's like a Swiss seat. We gonna get you dressed up in a jiffy and get you down. You don't have to trust me. Oh, oh that has man. to hurt. That arm. <laughs> Do you guys? Hold on, one of ours, hold on! Oh, jeez. Oh, oh. 
I got you. Another one. Call off the artillery attack on Hacksaw. I couldn't call it in. Tell him to call off the artillery on Hacksaw. Sit down, Jack. I'll get you a drink. We just lost our cover. Oh, no. Oh, no. He needed that. Yeah. They just keep coming, brother. Okay, okay. Oh, no. That's so good. This does not look good. It does. No. Oh. <laughs> Help me. Take a breath. Oh, this is wild. The, the tension. Mm -hmm. He is so lucky. Let's go, buddy. You don't know if your men up there are dead or alive. Oh, that guy's in a bunch of stuff, too. I don't have any fresh men, okay? I don't have any troops. It'll take more than a day to get men in here. Oh, oh the man. Rats down there. Oh. oh. Yeah, it's all over. E <clears throat> all over. E Iwo Jima and Okinawa, they had these tunnel systems. Mm -hmm. it, was, it was crazy. It's like not. It's like it just doesn't right, stop. It's like right in there. Oh, no. Oh. It's, a it's all right. It's all right. I hope that works out. Oh. I can't see. Be quiet. Just be quiet. Try now. Try now. Good. Okay, we got you. It's me. It's Desmond. I'll fix you up. You ready to get out of here? I'm sure am. Oh, please, Lord, help me get one more. I was gonna say oh, his hands got to be raw from that rope. One more, help me get one more. One more. Coming through. Where are the hell are these guys coming from? From Hacksaw. Some nuts up there dragging wounded from the top. Even lowered a couple of Japs. So it's been what now? Two days since he first got there? Yeah. I think so. Jeez. Get in here. There's nips everywhere. You're nothing if not falling for prizes. There. There you go. Okay, not bad. Mm -hmm. Sarge, you okay here for a while? Yeah, fine. I'm coming back. You ready? Let's go. Yeah, all the guys they thought they lost. Captain, something you gotta see. Our guys have been coming down in droves all night. I never thought I'd see that guy again. Come on, follow me. He's right here. Finally, someone's gonna tell him that was Doss. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Cap. Captain. How'd you get down, son? Doss. What, Alan? Doss did this? Not so much Doss. Yeah. Doss the coward. <laughs> oh! Oh! oh. Jeez. Well, he had that oversized helmet, though. Yeah. Oh, he just skinned it. No, oh, man. Yeah, you had to get him out of give away his location. You got that gum on his shoe, ain't you? Give me this. It's a bit late for trying to practice now, don't you think? Jump on it. Oh, oh so you don't have a lot of choices. Ready? Yeah. Let's go. Yeah, I mean, because Vince Vaughn's a big dude in real life. You know, he's throwing him over his shoulder. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, arms up! You gotta be kidding me, Cornstone. You're kind of bowl line, boy, not building a bra. Ready? Something's uh -huh. gonna happen right at the nick of time, isn't there? Oh! Oh! Oh, that's... He's got his hands. Oh, oh he's got something yeah, in there. I know, but still, still, his hands. That still, you're gonna feel that. Yeah, that amount of friction. Oh, oh God, gosh, I think I it's smoking. Sergeant Hour, Doss is still up there. What the hell? He's got chaps on his tail. <clears throat> oh, he brought him down. Mm -hmm. And it looked like he used him as like a counterweight, too. Mm -hmm. oh. hey, it's okay, Doss. Are you wounded? Let's get this soldier to a hospital tent right now. <sighs> Look at all those lives he saved. Mm -hmm. Yep. Reserve. Give me a shake to their medic. He died of shock. No plasma. Oh, he didn't take it. He didn't take the plasma. He gave it to the other guy. Tried to, and then I got shot. Remember yeah. to all that? Yeah. All I saw was a skinny kid. I didn't know who you were. You'd done more than any other man could have done in the service of his country. I hope one day you can forgive me. We have to go back up tomorrow. I realize that tomorrow is your Sabbath. They believe so much in how much you believe. And they're not gonna go up there without you. They're all, they're all waiting for him. What the hell is your delay, Captain? We're waiting, sir. Waiting for what? Private Doss to finish praying for us, sir. Who the hell is Private Doss? Let's go to work. All right, you can mm -hmm. tell them about that place. Yeah, basically the whole underground headquarters. Get it right now. Oh, wow. Oh. 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 So this uh, is where we're at. Oh, oh man. Oh. Let's go. Let's go. Let's get this man out of here. Go, go. Oh, ah, ah, stop, 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 stop. Stop. Okay. Mm. Whoa. I wasn't expecting that. We've taken an axe off. Hold up! Hold up! Desmond! Desmond! Hey. I was praying the whole time. Please help me get one more. When you're under conviction, that is not a joke. That's what you are. He was one of the bravest persons alive. It was, it was directed by Mel Gibson. All right. Wow. Wow, what a good movie. <laughs> yeah, unbelievable. Absolutely incredible, I think, is a way you could describe this. Wow. Uh, you know, coming in, not knowing, you know, really anything about it. Uh, it it's, it's, it's weird that a story like this is, I mean, obviously a lot of you out there who recommended this to us knew the story and had seen the movie but you know i mean the fact that there's so many movies that are fiction and you know aren't real and are so well known the fact that at least to me i don't know about you guys but it 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 kind of hurts a little bit that a movie like this about desmond doss and that absolute bravery he displayed isn't as well known uh, as it is and you know maybe there's some you know uh, guilt there on my part for maybe not not knowing but uh, i i don't think this obviously i don't think it's as popular as like a saving private ryan or something like that for example but i mean just the fact that what we saw the, the absolute level of what just complete hell that war is and the, the graphic violence that was shown 
Uh, and they absolutely pulled no punches in this movie and it did not hold back. You know, what it was like over there was, was absolutely incredible. So, I mean, I, for me, it's just, it, it's a travesty that this movie isn't better known by like everyone. It should be as common as, you know, back to the future or it's, you know, Jurassic Park, Jaws, whatever, you know, it should be right up there. And, uh, you know, we're to talk about the movie itself. So many of these actors, we have seen them in different roles. There was a handful of them that I'd recognized from either some smaller indie stuff or, you know, Vince Vaughn, who's like always just a hilarious guy. And to see him as a drill sergeant, I mean, was outstanding. And of course, I don't know how you can't say enough good stuff about Andrew Garfield's uh, portrayal of Desmond Dawson. That's just absolutely crushed it. I mean, for him to pull out this level of acting spider-man had to be an absolute walk in the park like it's did was it even work for him when he showed up to play that role like that had to be so friggin' easy after doing you know being involved in something like this or i don't know when the time frame was but you guys get what i'm what i'm uh throwing down here uh just absolutely incredible uh you know the excitement that a lot of the young men had, I know I'm jumping around a little bit, but the, the excitement that the young men had to enlist in the military uh, and to feel that they had to go do their part, uh, it reminded me a lot of, I watched uh, All Quiet on the Western Front uh, by myself. I uh, watched that one. These guys weren't a part of it, but I just personally watched it. And it was it was the exact same in World War II on the German side of things. Like, they had no idea really what they were getting into, and they were just excited to serve their country. And that's how it was portrayed in that novel and in that movie. And this had a lot of that as well, where everybody felt, you know, they were excited to go. They were ready to do their part. Uh, they felt that they couldn't stay home while, while other men fought. So I really liked that the way they showed that in this. And uh, yeah, just absolutely incredible. Uh, I've talked enough. <laughs> we'll let the other guys uh, take over here, um, but absolutely loved it. Yeah, you never really hear too much about individual stories during any of the wars unless they're like a captain or an admiral or the president at the time. So to find out that it was just a basic medic that was going through and showing that how brave he was just going through spending all night saving as many people as he could and you know you bring up that point where they were excited and then you saw the scene where the 96th went through mm. or what was left of it and you just saw that everybody's faces they went from yeah we're to war to not we saw it with hollywood hollywood basically went limp he didn't know what to do he was he was like this is a uh, this is what I thought it would be, like a lot of them thought, thought they would be. And so then you see the realism in that. And then, you know, a lot of the movies we watch, you know, we're like, oh, with the gore and stuff, with this, we know this really happened. So, like, as much as a reaction for that, it wasn't like of that because we know that people had had this happen to them and they lived through this. And there was a guy like this making sure that they lived through this that would put it all on the line without even having a weapon to, to make sure that they would – do it and um andrew garfield was great in this and the whole cast was really good and yeah i, I thought this was really well representation representation of of dos this was this was good watch yeah i mean if we're if, if we're talking about movie reactions i mean this really has to be a, a twofold reaction which i think mm -hmm. both of these gentlemen have done a, a kind of a good part of going through one you have to talk about the movie um the acting job by um, you know, by Andrew Garfield, by Vince Vaughn, by um, Sam Worthington. I mean, by um, the guy from The Matrix. Uh, yeah, Hugo. Yeah. Hugo, Hugo Weaving. I mean, just incredible acting jobs, and of, of course, Mel Gibson directing it. And the way that they, the way they told the story, was pretty incredible. I mean, it was it was really graphic, um, but I, I think these stories need to be. Because I think sometimes the way Hollywood portrays war movies, it's easy to to see the loss of life, but not really the brutal nature of, of what war was. It reminded me, you know, and I've seen this before. I saw it right when it came out. So it's been seven years for me. I didn't quite remember like all the, the intro to how the war started. Mm -hmm. You know, I remember the wartime part, but... Um, it reminded me a lot of when we watched Sardar Udham, mm -hmm. you know, which was a, a movie about India 
and a terrible thing that happened there that was incredibly, incredibly graphic and almost, you know, borderline too much to, to watch all in one sitting. Like there was a few times I think all three of us were like, we might need a minute. Um, but so, so there's that. So, I mean, the, the production of the movie itself was phenomenal. And then of course there's Desmond Doss's story and I don't, it's, you know, it's it's interesting when you when you have discussions of war because I don't think anybody really knows how they're going to respond to that situation until you're in it. You know, I, I don't think that's anything that you can display until you're in it. You could be the bravest, like strongest person, or a person who who is just generally timid and. Nobody knows, and, <coughs> and, and, and not even the, the the bravest person in every other aspect of your life. I think it can know how they would respond in that situation. And for a person like that to just, you know, watching him say that just one more, just mm -hmm. one more, mm -hmm. just one more, and to know it wasn't, it wasn't just a line in a movie. Like this is something that really happened, and that's what that guy was telling himself. I'm just gonna get one more, and he just kept going. I mean, the, the level of bravery there is, um, you can't, I mean, you can't articulate it. You can't, you can't, you know, wrap your head around it. You certainly can't describe it in words. And there's a lot of people who came back home and went on to have families and, and lives because of one person's bravery and one person who, when he signed up, you know, everybody thought he was going to be anything other than that. Um, so it's a great movie. Um, it was a good uh, a, a good rewatch for me. I mean, these movies are hard to they're really hard to watch. But I share Mason Quinn's sentiment. Like everybody should see these. People should know these stories. And Answer brings up a very good point as well. Like in, when we learn about war history, and even in the other movies, you know, we learn so much about the battles and the things that happened, and you know, and the, the D Day and the battles at you know Iwo Jima and Okinawa and, and things like that and Pearl Harbor. But a lot of times we don't get the individual stories of, of heroism and, and just how much impact one person can have. Um, you know, all these World War II movies hit me pretty hard. I had a grandfather and uh, my great uncle um, that served. And, um, you know, I, I know my great uncle could talk about it. My grandpa, he passed when I was pretty young, but my mom said he couldn't. Um, he could never talk about it. He talked about it once and it was very graphic and it was basically like, you want to hear about the war? Here's what I saw. And then that was one time in my mom's entire life um, did she hear my grandpa talk about the war. So it was brutal. They did a great job of of displaying all the things that come along with war and, uh, and just what an incredible individual Desmond Doss was. Yeah, you know, I'm going to be real and just say I'd didn't even know who because like i said coming oh, into this I, I had no idea what was going on so same. i didn't hear too much i never even heard anything about you know desmond especially when the movie came out um so seeing his story seeing everyone's story in this was actually pretty unique and uh eye-opening to see now i haven't watched really any war movies it just wasn't my thing but i do know we have quite a quite a hand few coming up because of all you uh, requesting it and you know hey you got to watch this so there's more to come so it'll be interesting to see how you know each one like I, I felt like this was an individual story it'll be interesting to see how the other ones that uh, are coming up will play against this uh, I'm not gonna compare I'm just saying it'll be cool to see how you know each one is uh, represented uh, rep represented for the most part uh, same <laughs> you know it was cool kind of uh, seeing that ending too with the real dos yeah, because yeah. you never know if they're able to get them or you know get some old footage and pull it in so that was pretty cool uh for the ending i thought we were going to get like uh andrew garfield and uh Teresa palmer i thought we were kind of going to get that okay not complaining by how they ended this yeah. by the way uh just a unique story overall i thought the the actors did phenomenal uh, the cast and crew, uh, the, the actual the crew, I'm sure this was uh, a beast to try to hit as much real life as much as possible. I'm sure all everyone involved probably wanted to hit as much as they could because yep. uh, everyone knows that you know they take true events and they have to put some kind of Hollywood spin on it a little bit. So I'm sure everyone that busted ass to make sure that this was. Mm -hmm 
uh, appropriate as much as could be anyway. Uh, for me, I'm not really going to give this a score because it is real life mm -hmm. uh, in a lot of this. So I'm not even going to base it on a score. But I will say, I will say, I will say that it should be recommended to people who were in my situation who didn't see it, didn't know anything about it, because it's actually great to see all that come, especially at the end with the like you guys were saying, where he said, "Just one more, just one more," and that wasn't a Hollywood line; that was an actual, real yeah. line, real life. So. <laughs> Uh, well done, eye opening. I, I I love the the end where they had the picture and they colorized it to make it feel like yeah. you were you were actually there because yeah. that's even better than I mean black and white is cool but then when they colorized it that looked pretty pretty amazing. Yeah, yeah. I um I, I'm I, I think we all are on the same kind of page as as Diamond Dave and I, honestly we actually didn't you know just to be totally transparent we didn't discuss it before the movie started but I think. Given the nature of the movie and being that it was a true story, I think we'll all forego giving it scores. Um, there's only I think Sardar Udom is the only I other that's the only one did that. Yeah. Um, Time and Dave wasn't with us for that one, but when we finished watching that movie, the three of us, I mean, before we went into everything, we kind of said, "Hey, look, we'll we'll talk about the movie." But uh, look, if it's if it's a real life story and it's something like comedic or something mm -hmm. that's a, that that's has one a different thing. tone, yeah. I don't think that. Um, you know that it's you know you're wrong or inappropriate or whatever yeah. to give it a score yeah like air for example yeah like you know? air, yeah exactly yeah. air it's a Perfect great example yeah. true like, story true story but yeah. you know we can give the whole thing a score but I, i'm with diamond dave and mm -hmm. to be perfectly honest you know we i know we've had some requests for for these war movies and i've just i've been hesitant and these guys know like again just to be transparent i, I think we can call everybody friends and stuff i was pretty hesitant on wanting to watch World War Two movies or any like true story war movie for the channel just because it's like, you know, how do we how do we react to it, right? Like you guys see us, we're like, oh whoa, whoa, and funny and laughing and <laughs> and this is so different and, and there's a lot of shocking moments and you know, there was moments that made us laugh, of course. Mm -hmm. uh, yep. but, um, but but I like I said, I, I struggled with, you know, even reacting to these movies and now that we've gone through it and being able to talk about it and watch it and hear these guys take and Diamond Dave and I, I'm, I'm glad we did. Um, so I think I'm a little bit more open to, you know, some other uh, other works like this. And we've talked about Saving Private Ryan, which is is, is arguably one of the, the greatest war movies of all time. But I'm glad we went on went on this journey. It was a great rewatch for me. Like I said, I'd seen it before, but there was a lot that was was hazy when we started. Yeah, I mean, I think the the big thing, you know, to I guess to kind of deviate here a little bit and to talk more about the making of the film. Uh, the film itself I think what's always important with movies like this is I really think you have to nail the casting because you've you've got to have characters that one you know they stand out two they you know they look a little bit different than everybody else you have a guy like Ghoul and then a guy like Hollywood right I mean two completely different guys and I I always love how they do casting in movies like this because to me that's one of the most important Huge. things because yeah. it helps you connect with the individuals like the and especially with war movies it works because everybody can be from different parts of the country yep. you have a guy with a New York well, accent, right, right away they ask him where he's from he goes Virginia you yep. know and and that just always plays really well so i enjoyed uh, that part of it as well yeah i thought andrew garfield looked really good as does as dos so this was a fun watch along better, better word would suffice but for diamond dave appleton oak that's mason quinn i'm of course the answer good night pals